Cecilia, you're breaking my heart. You're shaking my confidence daily. Oh, Cecilia, I'm down on my knees. I'm begging you, please, to go. Confidence daily. Oh, Cecilia, I'm down on my knees. I'm begging you, please, to come home. Come on home. Making love in the afternoon with Cecilia up in my bedroom. I got up to wash. Face. When I come back to bed, someone's taking my place. Celia, you're breaking my heart. You're shaking my confidence daily. Oh, Cecilia, I'm down on my knees. I'm begging you, please, to come home. Come on home. Jubilation, she loves me again. I fall on the floor and I laugh in jubilation. She loves me again. I fall on the floor and I laugh in. Oh, 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 Cecilia from Simon and Garfunkel. Hello, my veteran friends, and we are back using our capo hack this week. For those of you that aren't familiar, the capo hack is using a clamp-on capo, clamped on strings one through five, and this week we're on the second fret, so we're leaving that sixth string uncapoed, as it were. And what that allows us is <clears throat> when we're using a D shape, Strings six and four are octaves of each other. So it gives us a nice full bass sound uh, when we're using that D shape. So let's talk about the chords in Cecilia. Uh, I don't think I mentioned it was released just 52 short years ago in 1970. Uh, fun fairly simple song, uh, but put an asterisk next to that simple because the uh, strumming is a real marathon. It employs the same strumming pattern throughout the song. We'll go through that in a second. Uh, the chords are D, and that is a six string chord because of our capo hack. It's a whole reason for using the capo hack is so we can get that beautiful full droning sound out of our D chord. Uh, next chord is a G. Just a garden variety G. If you want to play a cowboy G, of course, that's always an option. And then uh, the third chord in the song is an A. I'm barring using my index finger, uh, but there's lots of different ways to play an A, as you know. Okay, so those are the three chords, D, G, and A. And on the A chord, I use my thumb to mute that sixth string out. Okay, so let's talk about the strum pattern. You may have noticed when I started the song, I am um, using my four fingers of my fretting hand to mute the strings. And it does matter where you uh, put your fingers because you can get an octave on a couple of different strings. So that's why I'm using all four finger fingers to uh, try and mute out all those octaves. So you get that nice uh, drum rhythmic strum drum sound. So the strum pattern is a down, down, up, down, up, down, up, down, down, up, down, up, down, up, down, down, up, down, up, down, up, down. So that's it for the whole song. D, D, 2G, 2D, 2G, 2D, 
to a D to an A to a G D a G to a D a G to a D to an A to a D and um the melody in the song, there's a melody and a harmony, and I kind of jumped back and forth between the two. It's a two-part uh, vocal. Of course, Simon and Garfunkel were famous for that. But there's the, uh, uh, the lower part is, Celia, you're breaking my heart. You're shaking my confidence daily. And the higher part, which I started out with in the a cappella part is, Celia, you're breaking my heart You're shaking my confidence daily So the best thing to do to solve for that is uh, find a friend to sing this song with you. And you can play guitar and your friend can take either the lower or the higher part, whichever one uh, they're more comfortable with. And you guys can sing a two-part harmony. It's a, a beautiful song for that. Um, what else can I tell you? I don't think there's a whole lot more to tell you. So um, let's finish up with um, bo 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 Loves me again. I fall on the floor and I laugh in. Oh, 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 through that come on home at the end because the song itself the recording uh, fades out at the end with the oh, 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 so in this campfire version we'll just finish it with a come on home all right Cecilia Simon and Garfunkel three chords D G and A We've got the capo hack going. We're using a clamp on capo, strings one through five on the second fret. And uh, if you don't have a clamp on capo, then just uh, um, capo across all the strings on the second fret. You won't get that droning bass, but you can still play along with this lesson. So anyway, hope you enjoyed that lesson. Uh, have a fantastic week, and I look forward to sending you another song next week. Until then, adios, my friends.